Bonjour à tous! Hey everybody! So, today was a bit of a long day, but I'm doing okay. And I am here to give you a really important video. This video is really important to me, and hopefully to the rest of you, because today is International Women's Day. I got an email a couple of days ago from YouTube saying, hey, we you want to do stuff to support International Women's Day? And I'm just like, yes! let's do it and so this video is dedicated to International Women's Day and that is why I'm doing this so today I did my volunteer I went and taught English for an hour and a half to David David which was good I had it planned out and it went really well and I even gave him homework be proud of me then I did some work and I went to my Greco-Roman class, which was good. I got to learn all about city walls and arcs of triumphs. Yep, it was actually really interesting, but it was long. It's a two hour long class and it was on literally walls around the cities and why they were important and the development of Arcs of Triumph. Yep. <laughs> That's what I did today. Now that we've got that over with, let's get to the real subject. Today I was thinking about the women in my life that have inspired me. And I'm going to start chronologically, which it means when I started looking up to these women. And these women are not necessarily from my lifetime, but they have affected my life in huge ways. And the first one is actually when I was really, really young. I was in elementary school. I think I was in second grade. I had just picked up on how to read and I was going all out it. I read everything and I came across this book on Helen Keller. She was my first hero and some of you might be going, Helen Keller, why? I mean, yeah, she's awesome, but connection, please. Okay, so from what you might be able to tell, I have trouble seeing and something you might not be able to tell is that I am a quarter deaf. I have hearing loss in my left ear. There is half of it gone. And I also have some hearing loss in my right ear. I was born that way. I don't need hearing aids, but sometimes it's very difficult for me to hear what people are saying, especially in noisy environments. Another reason I don't like them. <laughs> But, I read about this woman who got sick and then became both blind and deaf as a baby. Who did not have the greatest childhood. Who had trouble making friends. Who couldn't play the same games as the other kids. And then a teacher came into her life and that teacher's name was Anne Sullivan. And Anne brought life back to Helen. She taught her what things were, what they were called, and they created this communication system where they would write and draw on each other's hands. And she would feel the shapes so she would know what was going on. And the iconic thing that she learned first was water. She made that connection between what Anne was writing on her hand uh, with water, which I think is amazing because water is the giver of life and that now is much more meaningful to me. When I was a kid I just thought it was cool. And I saw this woman who, by the way, managed to grow up graduate university with a summa cum laude uh that's not 
heard of when she goes to a normal school. She wasn't supposed to go to school at all. Especially in the time she grew up. But she graduated with honors. And then went on to learn how to horseback ride, swim, ride a bike, and become a best-selling author. She gave talks around the world to people with disabilities and people who wanted to learn more about people with disabilities. She became my hero because when I was in second grade, because this is kid logic, I thought I was going to be both blind and deaf by the time I was 20. Clearly not. <laughs> but at the time, I thought it was a heck of a lot more serious. And it is why I can read Braille today. It is why I know how to fingerspell in sign language and carry on a basic conversation in sign language. I taught myself both of those things because I thought I would need to learn. And because I admired Helen Keller so much that I wanted to do the things she did. And Helen Keller knew sign language, braille, and how to speak. She could also uh, touch people's faces and lips and know what they were saying. I thought that was the coolest thing. And it inspired me so much when I was little. It told me if that woman with that kind of struggle can do what she went on to do, I think I can do my homework. <laughs> the next woman that inspired me goes high school. So we're going to jump a bit. I, this is when I was having my little existential crisis and wanted to become a pastry chef. I found Julia Child. She made food so much fun. If you ever find the videos of Julia's cooking show, they're awesome. They're so funny. And she was tall, loud, and proud. I didn't relate to the tall. I also didn't really relate to the loud, but it made me feel like I could be. She talked about everything with such passion. It amazed me and it inspired me to say, yeah, I think I can do that. I think I can do that. By the way, she also worked in a war office and was known as the Keeper of Secrets or something like that. Google it. She did a lot of secretarial work for like spy type deals with her husband. <laughs> That's not something I learned until last year actually, but <laughs> Random fun fact, Julia Child was kind of a spy and knew everything. <laughs> That's awesome. And she gave me passion. Helen Keller gave me, more than anything else, courage. The courage to say, you know what, I can do better. Or maybe courage isn't the right way to say it. Helen Keller opened my eyes to what I could do, my potential, and said, hey, you may have these vision problems, you may have these hearing problems, but she had it way worse than you, kid, so buck up. <laughs> she gave me grit. I think she gave me grit. Julia Child was able to help me learn how to express myself better, I think. She gave me a zest for life. And yes, that pun was intentional and I don't care. <laughs> Those two women inspire me still every day. And I'm hoping they can inspire you guys too. Now, the third woman is someone incredibly special to me and I have known her my entire life. And she's my mom. My mother is an inner city school teacher. She 
teaches elementary school, even better, right? <laughs> she goes into school every day to help these kids who do not have the best home lives at all. As a matter of fact, if you found more than four with good home lives, with stable, good home lives, without any baggage, I'd be surprised. She goes in every day and teaches them what they need to know. She teaches second grade right now, so they're getting a little bit of everything. She is one of the strongest women I know, one of the most stubborn women I know, so if there's anything I've learned from her, it's how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much, and Mama, this is for you. I love you. You inspire me every day, and I would not be the same person I am today without you or your support. And that is probably true for everybody, whether they're willing to admit it or not. So, that is all I've got for this video. It is almost 12 minutes long, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this maybe inspired you to think about some of the women that have changed your lives, or at least think about it on a deeper level. And if you guys want to know any female stars I should know about, comments, please. I love research. I'm a nerd. I wear glasses. Give me stuff to look up and Google when I have insomnia. Alright, that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed and you're having a great day or night wherever you guys are and I will see you tomorrow. Au revoir. Bye everybody.